Hello viewers, how are you doing today? I wish to welcome you to Siasa on Chiamero TV. My guest today, the Honorable Silas Muriuki, a former MP, North Medical Constituency. We are here to discuss with him his political journey and his future in politics. I am your host Godfrey Motiga. I wish to welcome you all. Honorable Silas Muriuki. Yes. Welcome to Siasa. Thank you very much. Mushmua. Yes. We would like to know what plans do you have in your political journey for 2022? As everybody else is uh, thinking about 2022, yes. There are few things we want to see that you are now determine the journey that we take. One of them we want to know what the ruling of the uh, court, the appeal court, will be on the BBI. All right. Because it's a major milestone in the politics of Kenya if it is allowed that we amend the constitution. There are several things that will determine the kind of journey that we take. But in the case, the court, the court does not rule in favor of BBI and the status quo remain. Then there is another scenario that we we'll have to take. But uh, as you know, in politics, once a politician, always a politician. Correct. And uh, you know, if you follow the development of North Mint, when I was MP, I was MP for the current body constituency and the current North Mint constituency. So, in a sense, I was MP for two constituencies. But if you went around the two constituencies, the standing milestones. Uh, the standing marks that you would see yes. are the projects that I initiated, projects that I completed, work that I did. Uh, to name but a few, yeah. in Ibori, you will find that uh, the district commissioner's office was constructed during my time. In these secondary schools, like Angaine, Day Secondary School, uh, Sirimon Day Secondary School, Timau Day Secondary School, uh, Gusish Day Secondary School, and in Garindare, uh, where students never went to secondary schools before I went there, okay. in Day Secondary School, uh, and several others, even here in Nari, uh, Metone. And uh, the major secondary school that I put up, the boys' secondary school in Ikirua, yes, were all done during my time. All right. And that was a five-year term. That is one district, or one constituency. All right. If you came to this North Mint, uh -huh. several others like them, I did. During my time, I also managed to buy buses in ten secondary schools. Yes. Where I was criticized a lot by the current MP, not the Mint, saying these buses will overburden the parents, mm -hmm. these buses will be taken away by auctioneers once I leave. Okay. But nothing happened because I made sure okay. they were paying to the firm before I left. Uh -huh. I was in charge of more utilities like water like uh, dispensaries yes. and in fact during my time my, we put up 17 yeah. new dispensaries but the current MPs have only two items that they deal with yes. there is security there is education okay. yet there is so much that is wanting okay. the schools are in pathetic situations okay. they have not improved much 
They just pick one, highlight it, and show that is what they are doing. We would like us now to tell us, with, with all that background, what are the plans now you have for the coming election year in 2022? The, the plans that I have are one, yes. to make the electorate understand they have, been, they have not been served. Okay. And that uh, the resources that the government has given yes. has not done the right thing. Yes. I used to give checks to, to committees in the schools, to project committees, yes. so that they procured yeah. their own people to do the work. Mm -hmm. But this time, they are given money, mm -hmm. they sign for it, yes. but they get a contract from nowhere. They don't know what goes on. Mm -hmm. And if you don't sign, they, you don't get that money. Okay. So you don't know how much that costs. Mm -hmm. uh, they don't know the procurement process. Yes. And that is where we think has been. Yeah. Because with my 50 million, mm -hmm. I could serve two districts, mm -hmm. and the results could be seen. Okay. With the 200 million, mm -hmm. a little can be seen. Okay. Uh, and I selected the item there, and I selected the item there. So you are saying that the current uh, regime. In, in terms of no the ment has failed? Yes, completely. Completely failed, completely misused the resources given. And uh, if you follow properly, yes. you will find that the projects have been costing beyond what they should be. Mm -hmm. uh, there is inflation uh, in the cost of the projects. That is why money is not there mm -hmm. to go around to many projects. Mm -hmm. Uh, so mine is to tell the people mm -hmm. the current MP has not done as what we expected. Okay. The children in secondary schools mm -hmm. and in primary schools mm -hmm. have really suffered mm -hmm. and the universities. Yes. They, they give in a very unfair manner. You are talking about bursaries, right? Bursaries. Mm -hmm. They give bursaries in a very unfair manner. If you come from a region which is perceived to have been giving me votes, not his, mm -hmm. you are told to go to Muriuki. And Muriuki is not a member of parliament. Yes. And these people are paying taxes like anybody else. Mm -hmm. So uh, we want to get rid of the current MP. Okay. Uh, get rid of him mm -hmm. and get people treated fairly, mm -hmm. their resources used properly. Yeah. Because and do you believe you'll bring back whatever you uh, sanity you, you, are, you are talking about? I have a lot of strategies to see Raim go so. In the next uh, parliament, Raim will not be the MP. Uh -huh. That one, I'm telling you, I've worked hard. Yes. I've strategized enough. Okay. And in my plans, I'm going to rotation within the next month when I tell all the main people what we should do. Uh, Moshmua Muriuki, how did you find yourself in politics? I am a professional teacher, trained in Kagumo, uh, and uh, went further for further training in Edinburgh, Scotland. Okay. When I came back, uh, as I have ended schools, I have ended actually three schools. Yes. I was headmaster for 16 years. The Kenya National Union of Teachers and to get branch executive committee members. Okay. And I was ex elected branch executive committee member in my zone. All right. When I went there, the Nazi politics are almost similar to national politics. Okay. So I decided now to contest the branch executive committee mm -hmm. for the entire Mero, which was the current Rakanidi yes. and Miro counties. Yes. And I was elected mm -hmm. to be the executive secretary of 11,000 teachers. That's a big number. Yeah, they elected me. Okay. And that was in 1986, not, not this year. Okay. And when I went to the National Executive Council, I was elected mm -hmm. a member of the National Executive Council. All right. And when I went to the province, I was elected mm -hmm the provincial secretary yes. of Eastern Province, which was now covering Isuro, Masabit, Makwen, Machakos, Embu, uh, Meru, all those 
which have now split into very many other branches. So in other words, you're saying even your passion for education came as a result of your background as a teacher? Yes. Okay. That is why even now I see yes. there is so much wanting in education. Mm. And from there, uh, when I went to the district education board, because I, I was an automatic member. Yes. And when we went to the rural development committees, mm -hmm because I was also a member mm. in the district. Mm. I saw that uh, issues that the member of parliament for this area, yes. that he should have advocated, mm -hmm. the representation that he wanted yes. was not there. Mm -hmm. And most of the times, mm. I would bring issues mm -hmm. where I was there as an art secretary, mm. like if I was a member of a uh, not the main constituency. So as a net uh, secretary, you, you felt uh, there, there was a void? There was a vacuum. Yeah, a vacuum. Big vacuum. Oh. Mm -hmm. And uh, now I felt I should uh, fill it. Yes. That is how I contested with uh, King of Meru in 1988. Well, I lost the elections mm -hmm. because I was rampant rigging. Yes. Uh, the endeavors that were taken there were taken back mm. to the DC's office, Allah so brought. Yeah. But we had nothing to do. When it came to 1992, mm -hmm. I contested again against him. Yes. But he, in his party, you know, he was Khan chairman. Yes. I was not a, a Khan member, but yeah. I joined Khan. Yeah. But I managed yeah. to knock him out of Khan nominations. Uh -huh. And then he jumped in shape and he joined with my opponent in DP. Okay. And DP was also the party in mayor mm. politics. Mm. So I lost again. But I knocked the person who was not representing us. Yes. And uh, I thought, you know, the other one who came, Mwilari, was a better person. Uh -huh. uh, David Mwilari. Yeah, but he was in opposition. And those days, the development was done by those who were in government. Okay. We tried to make him come back to the government. Mm. He declined. Uh -huh. Uh, I left NAT because teachers were also fearing I should not leave NAT. Okay. They were against me in going to politics. national politics. Mm. So in 2003, I said, no, uh, I have overstayed in NAT. Yeah. Now the mentor is lacking leadership, mm. so I should leave NAT yes. and voluntarily yes. retire mm. so that I can make a comeback yeah. come 2007. And that is what I did. Uh -huh. And in 2007, I campaigned, and yes. then I was elected MP in 2008. Okay. Uh, and uh, that is when I, I managed to make a change of no demand, okay. which they even today regret. If you have done your, your rounds, you know they, they say the development they, they can see is what was there when Muluk was the MP. During the last uh, election, w what went wrong? Most probably, you know, the people of Meru and the Kenyans would like to know what happened. Uh, first of all, I want to thank uh, North Yemen people. Yes. They voted for me mm -hmm. overwhelmingly. Yeah. And I believe I won the elections uh, with a landslide. Yes. Um, but there was that issue of computer generation. Okay. Uh, which I believe in. Mm -hmm. uh, once they noticed that I only won, mm -hmm. uh, people were recalled election supervisors uh -huh. who did not brought the results to the turning center. Okay. Uh, somehow I told what to do mm -hmm. uh, because they had been compromised mm -hmm. uh, and uh, results started changing but still it didn't go the way they wanted. So they colluded with the security. My turning agent was arrested so that whatever was being done at the Taring Center mm -hmm. uh, could not be verified. Okay. Uh, and he was taken in, he, he slept in cells the whole night. Uh -huh. He was released the following morning with a board of one, one, with a cash bill of 100,000 shillings. Uh -huh. But by the time he came, yes. the damage had already been done. Okay. Yeah. And uh, because I saw my people would be rioters mm. and uh, the violence would be too much, mm. I prevailed upon them to wait so that they can appear in the court. Okay. Um, but the police were so determined uh -huh. to frighten the people. 
uh -huh. that they chased them with the Tiangas, canisters, uh -huh. even from Kaga to Chugu. Uh -huh. You can imagine police chasing people all the way from Kaga to Chugu. Uh -huh. eh? uh, deep in the village. Deep in the village. Uh, five kilometers from where the turning center was. Uh -huh. uh, they were even ready to kill. Because they brought the bags that carried dead people there at the center. Uh -huh. But uh, I prevailed upon them and they listened to me. Uh, there was even, uh, the, the others became so round that they wanted to burn, uh, to, to, to create chaos in Mill Town. Okay. I told them there is no need. The best thing is to follow the law. So you still insist you lost unfairly? Completely. Completely. And even today, if you go around asking in Mill Town mm -hmm. who won the elections, they will tell you I won. Mushmua, how, how has life now been uh, out of politics a little bit? How, how has your life been generally? As teachers, you are trained to be an all round person. Okay. And you will find all teachers in the villages are around people. Mm. I was not campaigning to go to politics per se for selfish gain. Okay. Uh, I would say I was a self-reliant person. Mm -hmm. And uh, even when I was in politics, most of my money went to helping the people. Okay. Uh, supplementing the, the bursaries, mm -hmm. helping the poor. Mm -hmm. So, when I lost the parliamentary seat, I went back to farming, mm -hmm. uh, and the government too also came for me and became chairman of LaFund uh -huh. uh, in 20, 2015 until I resigned to go to politics again. Mm -hmm. And when uh, this time I didn't make it, they also picked me um, a member of board of SASRA, Sako Society's Regulator Authority. Okay. And that is why I am currently. Right. But I'm a, a serious dairy farmer. You well, find that one? Yeah. I'm a serious dairy farmer. I'm one of the good dairy farmers so in Nero. That's where you would say you are spending most of your time now? Not exactly. Yeah. No one who put the structures. Yeah. Uh, other people can, can, can manage. Eat. Like my wife now can manage. Yes. Uh, most of my time is spent in uh, voluntary activities, like I'm chairman of uh, Kenya Methodist uh, Board of Trustees. Uh -huh. And you know, when I took it over, it was almost crashing. Uh -huh. But now it is on its feet. Okay. And uh, there is peace. Yes. Uh, and the politics that had been brought there are dead. I uh -huh. um, in Sasra. Mm -hmm. Sasra, we are doing a noble job. You can see circles have no issues these days. Yes. Uh, people are guaranteed of their uh, money when they save in circles. Yes. Uh, I'm a member of development. I'm actually chairman of development in my church, Ronogone. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm chairman of an academy we started, which is doing very well right now. Mm -hmm. We started it uh, 2019 with the pandemic and where it is. Yes. We have 144 children today. Okay. Uh, it is uh, barely three years. All right. Yet you can see we have 144 children. All right. And we are constructing it. I'm mm -hmm. busy. I'm busy in those areas. Yeah, you are busy. Yeah. Okay. I'm also trying to revive my coffee uh -huh. because I almost left it when it could not bear fruits. Yes. But thank you to Governor Munya, mm -hmm. he has revived coffee, he has revived tea, he has revived milk. Uh -huh. So we are seeing fu the future in it. Yes. So I'm also busy in my coffee plantation. All right. Uh, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, Moshimua, I know you have been keenly following the politics of Mount Kenya. And uh, Mount Kenya East seems to chart a new path, says we need a party to take us to our new political uh, formation. On the other hand, uh, there's a, a, a group uh, spearheading the issue of unity of the mountain. What is your take on this, Moshimua? I would first tell you there are parties that are formed 
for personal political reasons. I cannot buy the idea of having a Monte Kenya East political party. Because Monte Kenya East votes cannot take you anywhere. Together as Monte Kenya, East and West, mm -hmm. we have a big voice. And uh, we can be called by whoever wants to a table to negotiate on the future of Kenya and our, our region. Yes. So trying to split so that you have a position yes. does not help us. Mm. And I would call upon those talking about Monte Kenya East mm -hmm. to know they are not the first. Mm -hmm. uh, the late Njeo Nje Nyaga was talking on Monte Kenya East. Yes. But he didn't go far. Mm -hmm. He even campaigned as a presidential candidate. Yes. So there is no difference between whoever is campaigning as a presidential candidate from Monte Kenya East and that one which was done by the former uh, late Njeo Nyaga. Yes. And the result was disastrous for him. Yes. So I would say those advocating for the youth unit of the mountain yes. are the real genuine people mm -hmm. who are thinking about the, 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 the people, not themselves. Yes. So yes. you're saying that the ones advocating for uh, a, a political vehicle for Mount Kenya East are selfish? Yes, they are very selfish. We should have unity of purpose for the mountain. So that we can channel our votes like we channel it to Uhuru Kenyatta. Mm -hmm. And uh, when the time comes for us now to say this is a presidential candidate, yes. whether coming from Monte Kenya mm -hmm. or outside, yes. all the votes go there. Yeah. And uh, in retrospect, mm -hmm. we get what we will tell him this is what we want. All right. Yes. More to that, uh, I know you are a resident of Meru and you have seen uh, the performance of the county government. Uh, what, what is your position on the uh, uh, performance of the county government now that you are resident of Meru? Uh, I'm sorry, the first governor laid the foundations, very strong foundations. Yes. And the and, uh, vision for Meru, especially in Meru town, uh -huh. he removed all the kiosks. Yes. But the current governor brought all the kiosks. Okay. We have gone to outside countries, mm -hmm. in towns like Denmark, Netherlands, even Cape Town in South Africa, mm -hmm. uh, in London, mm -hmm. in Germany, all these towns. They are extremely clean. Yes. The kiosks are not in town centers. Mm -hmm. They are put in an area where people go in search of whatever is sold in those areas, uh -huh. even in Singapore. Mm. So I do not know because I wouldn't say our governor uh, does not travel. He has traveled even more widely. He was in Boston, yes. uh, where Harvard University is. Mm -hmm. uh, he shouldn't have seen. Uh. But I do not know whether he has uh, lost touch with the I wind up outside the world mm -hmm. because even removing banana uh, sellers from the main market yes. to the roadside yes. is pathetic. Mm -hmm. While we can see Munya's projects, we can see the town hall, he changed it. We can see Mero County, which was doing the hotel. Mm -hmm. This one came and uh, uh, took away the hotel to his place. I think he wanted the offices. The offices are not what they should be. You can't change an hotel into our offices, generally. That is wasting even of funds. Many children are losing, are having no school. I can see Viga paying all the school fees for their children. Miro has a bigger budget than Viga. So, and now the offices are closed today. Mm -hmm. It is closed when students have gone to school. Mm -hmm. It is closed when universities are ongoing. Mm -hmm. So none can go to appeal for anything. Right. They are closed when COVID on, is in place. You know, him being the governor. I can't say much. People are seeing what is happening. But as a leader, most probably you have tried uh, to reach out to him on how he, he can uh, handle such a situation. There are other people who will not listen to anything.
and uh, I don't want to use the slogans that are being used. Mm -hmm. uh, at my age, I I control my tongue and my language. Oh, okay. I don't like uh, using insultive language. Yeah. But all is not well. All is not well. All is not well. Uh, what, what 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 are your recommendations? What, what what kind of future do you want for Meru County? We have one year, mm. and we have about five six billion coming. Let's see what they will do. If he goes back on track, people will decide. Yes. You know, Matiba used to say, let the people decide. I also say, let Meru people decide. All right. Yeah. Let the people of Meru decide. Yes. Honorable Silas Muriak, it has been a pleasure having you on CSR. Thank you. We hope to see you next time when we discuss other issues of uh, national importance and even uh, national politics. Thank you very much. Viewers of Chiamiro TV, that has been Siasa. My guests, the Honorable Silas Moriuki, the former MP, he meant North. I hope to see you next time on, on our program. This has been Siasa, where we have a discussion about our national politics and even the county politics. I've been your host, Godfrey Motiga. See you next time. <laughs>